Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. In this video, I'll show you different ways that you can use Google to hack other websites. And the purpose for this is not for reasons of being destructive, but for reasons of showing different security issues that are within websites and that, are, that can be exploited by using Google. So the first one will be looking at security cameras. And for this, you can enter in many different search strings. For example, here's one where you can put in URL, colon, quotation marks, viewer frame, question mark, mode, equals motion, and then close quotations. And pretty much any of these that you, uh, any of the results that you can see here, you can click on them and you'll be able to see uh, the security camera um, that that link is related to. And you have full control over it, so you can uh, uh, pan to different sides, you can pan up and down, and it, it's, it's real time for most of these. This one kind of has a, a really slow refresh rate, uh, so there are different, uh, different ways that you can get to other video cameras using other search strings. So another search string, and this one's my favorite, is in title, colon, quotations, live space view space forward slash space dash space axis and then close quotations and then click search again and with this one you have a live view of the video camera itself it, it refreshes pretty quickly um, this one's probably a bad example because there's not much moving but you can kind of see the tree down there and it's swaying in the wind um, but there's a, a lot more of these also um, let me just do another one real quick uh, see if it takes us someplace different. Uh, yeah, this this looks like it's uh, uh, kind of a camera view on top of the roof, but you can pan left and pan right, um, and uh, and you can you can see what all of the the video camera has to see. So it's a it's a pretty neat little hack. Um, so let's let's see what this pulls up. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it's just kind of overlooking some machinery or something over there. Um, but anyway, here's here's some other examples that you can use. You can just put that in Google and pull it up. Now, the second hack is for unspidered sites. Um, so it's quotations robots dot text quotations space quotations disallow colon uh, in quotations space file type colon txt. Now. Uh, all this is is it pulls up a text file. You can see we got here one here for whitehouse.gov. Pulls up a text file of sites that they do not want search engines uh, to go through to to spider, in other words. Um, so none of these, if you search for them, will ever be pulled up on a search engine. That's not to say that they're like secret sites, but uh, to to see what web pages they are, you can just uh, copy them and paste them into the main URL and it will pull up the website, kind of like this. So that's pretty neat. Okay, this next tag is to find front page user in information. Um, so to do it, just type in URL, colon, underscore, VTI, underscore, PVT, which is the, the front page string we're going to be looking for. And then we're going to be looking for the file, service.pwd, and then just search for that. And what it pulls up is the password file for uh, the uh, for front page. And if you got the username, and the, the password isn't the direct password, it's a hashed version of it. Um, but what you can do with that is enter it into a password cracker, and you can actually uh, get the username and password from just that. Uh, so that's kind of a security issue. Um, and then the next hack we're going to look at is PHP photo album hacks. And uh, to do this hack, just type in in URL colon quotation marks PHP H O T O album forward slash upload uh, and then in quotations and then search. Now this is definitely a security issue. If you uh, if you have to see your site on here, then definitely do something about it. Because what you can do, you have access to their photo album. You can click browse and upload your own photo uh, to their photo album. If it doesn't have a password on it, you can 
you can upload any photo you want to their photo album and that is not good so uh, so definitely make sure your photo albums are secure because um, you don't want to find random pictures there all right this next hack is for VNC user info VNC is a, a kind of a, a a remote system application. Um, so just type in quotations VNC space desktop in quotations space in URL colon and then a common port. The most common one is probably 5800, but you can go all the way up to 5900. Um, so you know, like 5800, 5806. But anyway, you just uh, click on a link, and of course, you'll need Java installed to view this. But um, you can enter in a password and click OK. And again, these passwords you can get by using like a brute force uh, a password cracking application. So that's kind of a security issue also. All right, this next hack is for network printers. And this one you can type in in URL colon quotation marks port underscore 255 in quotation marks and then minus HTM. Um, and then you can just kind of scroll down and for instance this is a Lexmark printer again you need Java for it but you can click configuration and look at the configuration of the printer or you can even go so far as to uh, uh, actually go back and hit the print button and be able to print from this computer um, or from this printer so that's that's you need to make sure your printer is okay our securities as well. All right, this hack is for PHP admin accounts. Um, so this search string is in title colon PHP my admin space quotation marks welcome to space two space PHP my admin and then three stars in the quotations uh, space quotations running space on, space star, space as, space root, and then the at sign, star, and then quotation mark, in quotation marks again. Now this one is definite, definitely another security flaw. Um, if you see your site anywhere on here, then, then you really need to do something about it, because um, now, now some of these... Um, aren't actual links, but some of these will actually take you to the ad admin account for somebody's PHP uh, website. And from here, you have kind of full range over their website. So definitely secure your stuff. Um, and that's it for this tutorial.